next comic. You ready for your next comic, yeah? Yeah! yeah. Our next uh, comic was the awesome show called Black Bag Comedy. Um, I never know, I never asked him what's in the bag. Give it up for this Oh, let's keep it going for Jared George, everybody. <laughs> Actually, going to be headlining a Black Bag Comedy production January 20th at the Cobra Cafe, <laughs> along with a couple other people that I'll remain nameless right now. Fuck. I hate producing shit because <laughs> then you got to remember a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> I'm not good at remembering. I'm old. I'm old. I <laughs> I'm jealous of kids today. <laughs> And by kids, I mean all you fuckers under 30. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have access to porn 24-7. You pull it up on your phone and you naked people. I didn't have that. You had, when back in my day, you had to know the kid who knew a kid who had a cousin That's who had right. a combination to the lockbox that had the map to where the porn was. <laughs> I sidestepped all that. I was the kid that supplied the porn. I had a job at 7-Eleven, <laughs> so I had access to all the current fucking... I had Penthouse. I had Playboy, right? I had Hustler. I... <laughs> <laughs> they had a club, but no one bought that shit. They had better pictures. No one bought it. They weren't there for the artistic content. <laughs> I don't know. I was I was twelve when I was working at a Seven Eleven. Got got the job, and my boss was sitting there reviewing magazines he should order for the adult selection. I was, he was like, "What do you think about jugs?" And I'm like, "Yes, <laughs> I'm order with anything named jugs." <laughs> I'm twelve. He was like, "Yeah, but it just looks like a bunch of overweight white women to me." And I'm like, "I don't have a type yet. I'm on board." <laughs> Maybe that's funnier to me. I don't know. Uh, I love working at a 7 Eleven. I love working at a 7 Eleven. I had my first, had all my first there. I had my first, I had my first beer. It was Budweiser. Fuck me. Yeah, I was in the cool there at 12 going, oh, oh, this one popped open. I don't know how. And then at 13, I'm like, this case just disappeared. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know. I did so I did trade candy for drugs as a child. When you have access to a case of nerds, you want to see how much heroin you can buy with it. I did. It's two. That's yeah. <laughs> that's all they give you. Yeah. Yeah. For a case of nerds. No, I I you know I had I had whip it. Ever anybody do whip it? You know whip yeah. nitrous. Oh it, yeah, it's just whip canisters that are not inverted. You just hit that shit. You know, it's beautiful. But then you gotta explain to the people that are coming into the store, they're like, hey, my fucking whipped cream was flat. And I said, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a new one. We'll get a shipment on Tuesday. But you gotta be here before 3 a 3 p.m. because that's when my shift starts. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know, I had my first French kiss. French kiss, that's the one with tongue, right? Yeah. That's one. Yeah. Yeah, it was in a parking lot. It was a little weird to me. It was a little weird to me, but my boss, he was totally insistent. <laughs> I, I don't know, I, I used to, I, you know, I worked, I, 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 I started there at 12, but I worked in, at 13. I started growing facial hair. And, and they were like, great, you can work graveyard. And I'm like, I'm on board. Because graveyard isn't about helping people. It's about cleaning everything. I mean, you had to make everything spotless, right? Spick and span. So obviously, I did a lot of meth. I am Dennis <laughs> Cruz. Thank you very much. Yeah. Dennis Cruz, y'all. Give it up. Woo!